think I'm going to do this video in a couple of parts. Let's just do the first part first. Let's just see if we can do some um, polynomial long division. So start off with a little bit of long division. So here's our, here's our problem here. 2x to the fourth plus 3x cubed plus 5x minus 1 divided by x squared minus 2x plus 2. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. So here's my... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here as the dividend here. So 2x plus 3x cubed. So I'm just copying this to here, this to here. But look what I'm going to do here. The one thing I am going to do differently is this. I'm going to put this in as 0 x squared because there are no x squareds up here and it will really really help us to as a placeholder so so technique number one or clue number one to being successful at long polynomial division is make sure that you have all of your terms arranged by degree from least to greatest and that you have all of them accounted for so here we have x to the fourth x to the third x squared x to the first and this believe it or not is right is x to the zero isn't it because x to the zero is one and okay all right, then I'm going to divide by this, and then here's my little bit of notation here. This is a little clue here that when we do polynomial division, we use the lead term to divide by. So I'm going to write all the rest of this in, but it just follows, and that will make sense in just a second, I think. So keeping this in mind just for a second, this works exactly like long division worked when you were in fifth grade. All the rules are the same. We're just going to insert some variables here. So here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is this. We're going to do 2x to the fourth divided by x squared, right? So the first problem that we're doing is this. 2x to the fourth divided by x squared. And if, that, if it helps you, it's the green 2x to the fourth divided by this pink x squared. So it's this piece right here divided by this piece, right? And we should get 2x squared, shouldn't we? So the answer here is 2 x squared okay so that's how I got that piece right there so remember when we did long division when you were in fifth grade it was divide multiply subtract bring down same thing we just divided now we're gonna multiply this times this is so let me just show you what we're gonna do here just to outline this a little bit it's gonna be this times this then this times this and then this times this we're gonna distribute across that whole thing okay and if you think about it, that's going to look like this, isn't it? That's going to look like 2x to the 4th, isn't it? This times this is negative 4x cubed, right? And this times this is 4x squared, so positive 4x squared. So far, so good? Okay, and then we're going to subtract this. And just to have it said subtract, we're just going to actually add the opposite, right? So that makes this negative. That makes this positive and that makes this negative doesn't it and then I'm just gonna do our arithmetic here and look here's what I was saying to you before if you didn't put in this 0x squared you'd have this 5x over top of this 4x squared and it might cause some confusion so hopefully we averted that confusion and this is 0 this is 7x cubed isn't it minus 4x squared right and then of course remember we Divide, we multiply, we subtract, we bring down. So we're going to bring this 5x down, so plus 5x, okay? This is a 7x cubed, isn't it? It's cubed. So the next problem is we're going to take this 7x cubed right here, so 7x cubed, and we're going to divide by this x squared. So it's going to look like this, isn't it? By this x squared. That's where we're getting our next term. And the answer should be 7x, shouldn't it? So the answer is 7x after we do this division, so... 7x, right? That's this piece right here divided by this one. I know you're, well, what about all this crap here and what about all this crap here? It follows, if you will. So this is actually, I think, pretty straightforward and simple, but you have to kind of just go with what's happening here. And this is what we're going to do now, the same thing we did in the last one. We're going to distribute this 7x to here, to here, and then to here, okay? All right. And 7x times x squared is 7x cubed, and that's what we were hoping for, isn't it? 7x times negative 2x is negative, sorry, negative 14x squared, right? So negative 14x squared. And then lastly, 7x times 2 is positive 14x, isn't that right? 
Okay, now we're going to subtract this. And if you look at it in a lot of textbooks, they just say subtract, but I mean, let's be clear about it. subtract this, adding the opposite, because look, here, this becomes negative. This becomes positive, doesn't it? I'm distributing this negative times a positive with a negative. Negative times a negative is a positive. Negative times a positive is a negative. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Going to continue our work here, and then going to bring our work down, and we should get, this should go to zero. This should go to 10x squared, right? 10x squared, this should go to negative 9x, right? Negative 9x. What's the next step? Good, right? Bring down. We divide, we multiply, we subtract, we bring down. So we're going to bring this down, and there's our negative 1. And then the last thing that we're going to do here is this. We're going to do this here. We're going to take this, this 10x here. So here's my little side work. I'm going to take that 10x over here, and I'm going to divide it by this x squared. Remember, we just use the first term, to, and that should be 10, isn't it? Right, positive 10. So this becomes positive 10, right? So we divided, now we're going to multiply. Remember that when we multiply, we are going to, um, we're going to distribute over this whole thing. So we have 10 times this, then 10 times that, then 10 times this, isn't that true? Okay, then let's see what all that comes to. So 10 times x squared is 10x squared. That worked out good, 10x squared. 10 times negative 2x is negative 20x, isn't it? And 10 times 2 is 20. Isn't that true? So we divided, we multiplied, now we subtract. So let's subtract. So I do a little subtraction here. We subtract. And that negative times a positive is a negative. Negative times a negative is a Positive. I'm just distributing this negative one here, and a negative negative times a positive is a negative, right? So that's how we do our sub. Whoa! This is how we do our subtraction here, isn't it? Sorry, you guys. All right, right? Negative one minus twenty is negative twenty, isn't it? This becomes 11x, isn't it? 11x. And what is this 11x? What is this 11x minus 20? Because if we do 11x my, uh, divided by this, it doesn't work out well, does it? So this is our remainder. So what do you call it? remainder. <coughs> uh, some people just call this p of x. So remainder. So what are we going to do with the remainder? How would that remainder look? The remainder should look like this, shouldn't it? Now look at this for a second. It looks real weird. We take our remainder over our divisor, so we have remainder of 11x minus 20 all over, check me out here, this x squared minus 2x plus 2. So if you're like, what the hell is this piece of work here? As this is our remainder, this is... Right, we're using remainder theorem here also. So if you don't mind, just to close this video, if you don't mind, I'm just going to do a really quick prop just to show you where did all this crap come from. And I think that, that we'll be in agreement how this remainder works. Take a really simple problem like uh, how about 15 divided by 2, right? So we know it goes in 7 times. 7 times 2 is 14, isn't it? 15 minus 14 is 1. So we have a remainder 1, don't we? But we know that that 15 divided by 2 is 7 and a half, isn't it? Because look at this for a second. Here's our remainder. Here's our divisor. And the remainder is this over that. So it's 1 over 2. All right? So just to remember some of that math that we did many, many years ago. Okay? All right, you guys. I hope it was helpful.